Mac OS 12 Monterey is now officially available. So here are 10 new features and some tips that you need to know about Mac OS Monterey. Perhaps one of the biggest things added to Mac OS, in my opinion, is the ability to finally erase and restore your MacBook to factory settings without having to reinstall the entire operating system. Now your Mac will behave just like a regular iOS or iPadOS device where you can just head into preferences and then select system preferences from the top menu bar and then erase all content and settings. This will effectively wipe your Mac but keep the operating system so you can sell or trade your MacBook quickly and easily. Universal control is probably one of the cooler features available in macOS Monterey, but unfortunately it's not quite available just yet and will be coming out hopefully later in the year. But universal control gives users the ability to go from Mac to Mac or Mac to iPad with no special apps or anything like that. It all just works seamlessly. You take your cursor, you bring it from one edge of the device and it just kind of transitions over to the next device and you can drag and drop content or interact however you want. It seems like it's pretty incredible and we can't wait for it to be available in the near future. You can now set your lock screen to feature a Memoji and it's also animated. You can head into settings, users and groups and then select edit under your avatar. From here you can edit or create a new Memoji and then once you have everything set, you'll see that your Memoji is now your login icon. And if you get your password wrong, you'll actually see your Memoji have an animated reaction to your incorrect login attempts. AirPlay is now finally available on the Mac. And if you're confused because you thought AirPlay was always available, it kind of was, but also kind of not really. This time with AirPlay being fully available on the Mac, you can now send content from an iOS device or an iPadOS device to your Mac, or even from one Mac to another Mac, and it can mirror your phone screen as well. This is something that should have been available a long time ago, but it's finally here. FaceTime for the Mac has gotten a bit better by implementing some of the new features that we've seen introduced in iOS 15. Those features include link sharing and background blurring. You can now create a link in FaceTime app on a Mac and easily share it with someone to schedule a call. And the link even works with other users who are not on an Apple device. So if they have an Android phone or a Windows PC, they can join your FaceTime call. You can also use the new background blur effect while on a call so that the attention is more on you and not what's in the background of your environment. Quick Note is a popular new feature on iPadOS 15, but it also makes its way to macOS Monterey. You can go to the bottom right corner of your screen to invoke a quick note, and it actually just brings up the most recent quick note that you've created. Of course, if you've created a note from a specific web page or app, that note will show up accordingly, and you can even highlight text in Safari and create a quick note from there as well. It's pretty useful stuff. Speaking of Safari, you'll notice the redesign, and whether you love it or hate it, there's no doubt in my mind that Safari tab groups can be an incredibly useful feature. These tab groups sync up with what you would have on your phone, but can now even be more useful on macOS for different categories like work, social media, media consumption, etc. Focus was also introduced for your iPhone in iOS 15, but it can also be pretty useful on your Mac as well. This mode lets you automatically filter out notifications based on what you're doing. Options for work, gaming, reading, and more are available, and it sets and syncs across all of your devices, along with a notification to your contacts whenever one sends you a message, letting you know that you have notifications silenced. It's a perfect feature for when you really need to buckle down and get some work done with minimal distractions. Shortcuts has also finally made its way to the Mac, and it can help you accomplish everyday tasks faster. There's already a gallery of useful pre-built shortcuts that you can add, and you can launch the app like you would on your iPhone or iPad OS, and then run through the system workflows that are already set up, but you can also edit the shortcuts via the editor to tailor these shortcuts for your specific workflows. And last but not least, another iOS 15 feature called Live Text can also be used across macOS Monterey, and it basically makes text that's found in photos interactive across your system. So this allows support for copying, translating, and looking up text that appear in any images. There are lots of possibilities available with live text. And of course, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. What's your favorite new feature of macOS Monterey? Do you have any new tips and tricks that you wanna share? Please let us know down in those comments.